Hi, DFW DJ School, DJ XL here. Today's topic, we're covering Serato setup. So let's get into our Serato DJ. You see we are in offline mode, which means we don't have a controller hooked up. Let's click our setup tab, and let's get started. Over here to the left, you're going to see control preferences. First on the list, playback keys, use shift. What this simply means, if you want to hit a Serato keyboard shortcut, you have to hit shift first. This is a safeguard to keep you from accidentally hitting a keyboard shortcut during your play. Uh, next on the list is lock playing deck. Uh, it's happened to the best of us. You'll have a song playing. You'll look for that next song that's going to keep the dance floor rocking. You throw it in the deck and oops, you threw it into the wrong one. Now you stop the music that's playing. It happens to the best of us. Never happened to me, of course. Next on the list is sort cues chronologically. And what this simply does is as you sort your cues, it's going to do them in the order in which they were set. As you can see. So pretty self-explanatory there. End of track warning. Um, I believe it's 30 seconds. When it gets down to 30 seconds, uh, the backlight on your controller will flash. Also, the uh, on your Serato DJ uh, display, the backlight will also flash as well. And that indicates that you have 30 seconds or less to, to find another track. Next on the list is use auto gain. Uh, the recommended is 92 decibels. That's where I have mine set to. Um, you can play with that if you, if you wish. Keep in mind, uh, <clears throat> it can affect the software. Uh, while you're in controller mode, what you don't want to get is that red light that goes off up here in the corner, saying that you're taxing the software, because it, it can and will interrupt your, your play during your set. So uh, it's a good idea to keep it at 92. If you have to turn it up, turn it up on, this, on, this, on your speaker end, or adjust it on your, on your mixer. On song load, play from start. That's an option. Um, I prefer to have mine start from the first cue. Whenever I uh, import songs into my Serato uh, files, I always set the first cue point for the song to start on. So, a lot of times there'll be drops in the beginning of songs. There'll be uh, instrumentation. I have mine set to start on the first cue point. All right. So, and if you have this to set the, to play from the start, it will override the uh, start from first cue point. So, you want to make sure that you click whichever one you prefer. It's a good idea to have it on the first cue point. Instant doubles. Uh, what that simply means is if you're playing a song and you load that same song into the opposite deck, that song is going to be displayed at the same point in time. Uh, that the current song is playing in. So if, you, if the song that you're playing is halfway done, when you load that same song into the opposite deck, it's going to be in the exact same spot. And that's uh, handy for the DJs that like to juggle. All right, virtual deck speed, 33 RPM is a good speed to have it at. Um, it's good for, for scratching. Uh, that way the your virtual deck doesn't spin too fast, and you can grab it and backspin and prepare for your scratch. Recording, I have mine set to 24 bit and I have mine set to wave. That's a quality recording and from there I usually throw it into Audacity and turn it into a 320 uh, mp3 file. Um, a lot of people use the uh, AI FF files, so I've never used them. Um, not for really familiar with them to tell you the truth so I kind of stay away from that but if you know about that and that's your preference, then I can't see how it would hurt. So, But uh, I, I do have mine set to wave. Sync preferences. I'm not even going to go there. Not even going to go there. Don't use your sync. Learn the beat mix. I'm not, I'm not bashing anybody, but that's that's a good DJ tip. And any good DJ will, will t tell you the same thing. Quantize preferences. I have mine set to four beats. You could have it set all the way down to 1 16th. But I have mine set to four beats. Breaking. Start time, stop time. This could be as fast or as slow as you like. To start time, you can get that drag start. That, or you could have the uh, 
the instant start to where when you hit start, it starts right up. Stop time, you can have it to where it stops on a dime, or you can have it to where it has the break effect. I like the break effect myself, which is why it's set right here. All right, that'll do it for part one, part one of this series, covering your setups. I'll see you in part two.